So hi guys and welcome to Project Cars. So as you can see from this title, it's sort of a different video. It isn't taking the usual style. That's because I was just trying out uh, random cars thinking what should I record? Should I record Spin Time? Should I record Project Cars? And I actually came across um, Bruno the track. I don't usually drive here that often so I thought why not? Let's learn this track. And I thought, why not? Let's do it in the R8. I don't usually drive this a lot. And just whilst I was testing it out, I thought, can this thing drift? I know it's got all-wheel drive, so is it possible to drift it? And yes, yes it is. I'm going to say, I'm going to go as far as saying, this is the best drift car in the game. So for this video, I'm only going to have the uh, bottom left like gear and um, speedo, then I'm going to have the map up there so I can see, but let's start this up. I mean, I was so amazed by what this thing can do. Can do. If only if it was manual, it's, I'm using the fat paddles. I can still override it with my manual stick, but that isn't exactly realistic, but as you can see, I've been warming up the tyres. Um, well, warming up, using the tyres up, but yeah, let's just get through it around these corners, and I'll start putting the power down, right, that was nowhere near the best thing that it's got, it's just so controllable, controllable. I mean the MX-5, as I said, it's almost impossible to drive, and even there, I was a bit overcooked it, Show you how good this R8 is. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, the new one's out now, but this V10 Plus. I mean, it's just easy. Chuck it in. Full lock, full lock, full lock. Get a bit over, but once I get myself warmed up, this thing it just shows you how good it is. Really, it is amazing. Running up here, nowhere near going off. It's got the power, it's got the noise. V10. I mean, see then, I went way too far over, and that was really sloppy for any drifters that are watching. I'm oh, quite right into this bit. Easy. I'm just going to get my lines right. Once you get your lines right, you get the power delivery right, you get your steering got it. Right, let's try it here. There we go, there we go. Nice. It's so easy to recover from. It's just so rewarding. I did, I mean, I did a drift earlier. And it was huge. A huge corner. I was like, what just happened? It's like, yes, car. Just, just a the R8. I mean, I'm nowhere near any good at drifting and I was just able to pick this up I mean I've been doing this for 20 minutes and I thought I've got to record this it does understand quite a lot but you just got to get your line right as I said and uh, yeah near the end I'll show you sort of the complication of the best ones I've got so far but yeah there we go back up Really 
go. That's how easy it is. Just keep the power there. Keep the steering correct. Right, so I've just gone for a quick refuel, and that's changed the uh, tyres as well. So, fresh rubber. And it's a lot better, a lot easier to control. I mean, that was what mid corner, let's check it out. It is fine. This is the best drift car on project cars by far. The speed of this is what I want. 90, 100, 110, 20, assist. So now I'm going to do a montage of me sort of doing my best drifts as I think with the commentary it's sort of a bit difficult so I'm just going to do a montage, um, yeah no commentary or anything and I'll just show you what this thing can do when I'm concentrating. Ok 
Okay then, so there is the Audi R8 V10 Plus. So I, I really think this is probably the best drift car on project cars, for beginners at least. So if you haven't tried it out, make sure you do. And this, I don't think I said yet, it is the Bruno circuit in the Czech Republic. So that's where I've been driving around. So if you enjoyed this video, please do click that like. Why not subscribe for a lot more content? See you guys.